what sets you apart from the competitors and and you know in terms of providing vehicle reports you know for consumers and dealers alike yes i would say you know um you know so going back i i pack it was actually um this this space was um you know taken up back in 2012 by our ceo sevi astorg um who was in a dealership you know at that time and had this idea to create um you know, evidence manuals digitally, you know, so that he can share them with the consumer and they would have all this information before they even stepped foot into the dealership. Um, and what's neat about that is, um, you know, he's, we've been, been doing this now since 2012. So 10 years, um, there's definitely going to be some competitors that come in the market. Um, and you know, they're going to, they're, they're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, their system is going to operate a little bit differently than, you know, than I pack it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I would say the difference is just, you know, is the time, um, the things that, you know, we do in house, we don't outsource anything. Everything is done in, in house at I pack it. So if we're working on, um, inventory feeds or customizations and stuff like that. We don't have to outsource anything. So our turnaround time for our dealer partners is pretty quick. Um, I would say that's, you know, that's, you know, one of the biggest differences is a lot of the companies that are out there. And I've had, I've had opportunity from the dealership side to work with several other vendors where they actually did have third party providers. They would have to get other people involved. Um, and so you know, mentally, I was already preparing myself that this was going to be a week or two weeks out before it actually got resolved. And, you know, I had a Band-Aid on it. Um, with IPAC, it, it, I mean, it can sometimes be within a couple minutes um, or, or, you know, or just, a you know, a short few days, you know, depending on what it is. Wow. Lindsay, you want to add to that? Well, sure. I mean, with IPAC, you have digital presentations just at your fingertips. So those presentations we used to do as salespeople on the lot, right? Now we can give that digital presentation to a customer. Um, when they approach the dealership, it's awesome because instead of giving them just like a paper business card that will likely be thrown in the trash or anytime they look at it, we have no idea when we're top of mind for them, right? So mm -hmm. with iPacket, the cool thing is we're not only giving the customer all of the information that they're looking for with transparency, like the vehicle records, the reconditioning, right? The original window sticker, things like that. But also we're able to capture that information on the flip side and be able to know what they're looking at, what those hot buttons are, and be able to know when we are top of mind with them because of our reporting on the back end. So I, that's one of the things I like the most about it. And, you know, they can access the iPacket in many different ways. But when I was in dealership, when I was trying to gather all of that information for a customer, mm -hmm. it would take me like four or five different people inside of the dealership just to get that, which took a lot of time. So it takes a lot of time to get it back to the customer. And they're already like, mm -hmm. uh, what's taking so long, right? I mean, that <laughs> already starts to create some trust issues probably. So right. the great thing is we're able to hand that information out immediately. And the salespeople have a digital business card and now they can send that to the customer. Other ways that they can open the iPacket though are we give dealerships QR codes to put on their vehicles. So those secret mm. shoppers that come up on a Sunday that don't want you to know they're on the lot because they don't want to mess with the salespeople, they can easily scan that QR code and check out the iPacket um, straight from the vehicle. And now we're able to capture that customer's information that we never would have captured before. So wow. I find that really great. And then when your salespeople really start sharing iPackets on social media and such, it's even better because anybody that opens an iPacket, we can start looking at, you know, what's really driving the truth for them, so to speak. And uh, lastly, because I'm super <laughs> excited about it, um, we recently just came up with an incredible marketing opportunity for our dealerships that currently have iPacket. It's called iPacket Complete on targeting. So it's not your traditional spray and pray retargeting that's kind of a little, you know, um, unpredictable. We can actually totally control the destiny of our ads. So if a customer looks at an iPacket, 
then we can start retargeting them across the internet with mm -hmm. iPacket information as well. Wow. So it's a very unique um, retargeting approach. Nobody else has anything like it. And so we're able to retarget the customers we have met and then also those secret shoppers that we haven't met just yet.